Sitting in bed, I couldn't think straight. Four o'clock in the morning. I had no idea what could be keeping me up this late. The only things on my mind were my thoughts racing to figure out what was on my mind. I looked around the room in the darkness, spotting the silhouettes of posters and action figures collected over the years. I had pretty much everything from Charlie Brown posable figurines to miniature skateboard replicas. Scattered on the floor were all my shoes, my bass guitar, and several skateboards, broken and chipped up from the hard usage of my skating days. Above my bed were several academic achievement awards. English awards, math certificates, UIL medals, mementos of my success over my high school and junior high years. Perhaps that was what was on my mind. The fact that all my normal school years were over and done with. I would be heading to college at my local university in August and it was barely hitting me. Three weeks after I graduated from high school and it was barely hitting me. Finally reaching the conclusion that this is what was bothering me, I told myself I could think about it more tomorrow and tried to go to sleep. But just as I was fixing my head back down on my pillow, I heard something. The front door to my house was heavy and very loud when opened. I knew this was what it was, just there was something different about it. The door was silent. I didn't really hear it so much as I felt it open. The question was who would be coming in at such an hour? My brothers weren't being expected for the night. They were both off having their summer fun with their friends upstate. My mother and Paul, the youngest of me and my three brothers, had fallen asleep hours before I was even in bed. I was baffled as to who this intruder in our house was. One side of me wanted to get up and see who the strange invader was, and the other wanted me to stay in bed and hope nobody would harm my family. I finally worked up the courage to grab the hunting knife my brother gave me next to my bed and see what the situation at the front of the house was. Our house was small. Three bedrooms, one bathroom, a small kitchen connected with the dining room, and a living room. I listened for footsteps or any sign of movement throughout the house's wooden floors, but nothing came. Just the feeling of a presence governing the doorstep. I opened up my bedroom door and walked into the darkness. My heart was pounding as I got further down the hallway. Halfway down, my eyes began to adjust to the deep darkness. Picture frames lined the walls and the gold-plated crucifix hung closer to the end of the hall. The walk to the end seemed to be miles long as my shaky legs wobbled one in front of the other. I stopped at the corner of the hall right before the living room and gathered myself for whatever could be waiting only a few feet away from me at the entrance to the house. I took a deep breath and started turning out towards the front door. There it stood. <laughs> Nothing at all. I felt so foolish for expecting some sort of monstrosity to be awaiting my presence, mouth agape and hungering for human flesh. I turned around to return to my bedroom and catch some much needed physical and mental rest, but then I noticed something. A figure standing in the kitchen, just as horrific as I had imagined it at the corner of my hallway. The window shed some moonlight on its face. My mind was going crazy, just trying to process that disastrous situation. The one and only clear thought in my head was that I certainly wasn't going to have to worry about college anymore.